<laughs> Welcome to our new channel. Cooking so, with Colin and Shireen. Yeah, so we're going to be filming food. Really? Mm. Is that what cooking is? <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be filming food, we're going to be filming <laughs> cooking. Recipes. Yeah, so not just recipes, we're going to be doing food challenges and um, recipes and different things from all over the world. So just wanted to come on here and just do a quick introduction uh, we decided to do our first video based on one of our favorite meals and uh, we'll talk a bit more about that just to go into it a bit more about the series we're gonna split it into do something a little bit different here we're not just doing random recipes here and there we're gonna be doing series based on specific things so the first series we're gonna do will be world food thing so we're gonna pick countries and then we're going to pick them out of a hat and then we're going to pick a dish from that country and then cook it. Something that, well, imagine we get Azerbaijan. I know, I don't even never, know. Never even cooked from them. Never. Okay. Like, it's so strange because there's so many different countries, so many different foods from all over the world. So it's going to be really strange to get a country and then we have never cooked anything from that country before and we just... It, never eaten it. Yeah, never eaten it. So we're going to be trying new things. Um, with you guys on this channel um, So just for example, I'm from the Caribbean. I'm from Grenada So for example, if we choose Grenada out of the hat Then we'll have four envelopes and we'll put four different foods from that country in those four envelopes And then one of us need to choose what um, We're gonna be cooking and whatever we get. So let's say we get mm, Like Grenada's national dish which is oil down if we get that, then I'll be cooking that. So that's just a quick example of how we would be doing the World Series. How many episodes? Doing 10 episodes per series. Yep. So we're starting with the, the World World Foods. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a couple of other ideas where we do like food based challenges mm -hmm. or we do reviews. reviews. We do cooking for family on a budget and stuff like that yeah cooking for children baking desserts and cakes and stuff like that yeah different series doing doing all that basically yeah and, and one of the main reasons why we decided to start this channel is to honor my mum um who sadly passed away six years ago she was a chef for 20 years so for me I started cooking at seven years old. She taught me everything that I know. And I said to Colin, what can we do to honor her? Because I've been thinking a lot about her lately. And he said, oh, but you like cooking, why not do it? And I said, like, oh, that makes sense. Maybe we should film when we're cooking. So yeah, and then that's how the channel idea came about. So we'll just get into this video. We'll just tell you what we'll be baking in this video. We'll be making mac and cheese that's one of our favorite meals we'll be doing it with um that's, sweet... your, that's your signature dish isn't it yeah i really like making mac and cheese yeah. it's one of my my favorites as well i love cooking it i love eating it enjoy the mac and cheese and we're going to be doing sweet chili chicken <laughs> yeah. we're gonna do sweet chili chicken yeah. with it as well and some vegetables and yeah that's just for our, our first video and also starting from next week we're gonna be uploading every sunday in the mornings we'll come back to you guys with a time but we'll do it on sunday mornings and you guys would have uh, one episode every oh, week so to look at yeah, so I hope you guys like our channel, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe, like, subscribe, press the button below, <laughs> whichever side the button is, press the button below, and yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned for more, and let's just get into this video, bye! So guys, to make the sweet chili chicken and macaroni and cheese pie, we are going to need some ingredients, and here they are, voila!
So I'm gonna be using a third cup of mustard, so 80 milliliters, and I'm gonna mix it in with the wet ingredients. So this is one egg and a um, tin of evaporating milk. This is my way of doing things, just to put that in here. So as you've just seen, we poured up a kettle. A couple of services for the macaroni. I'm doing it like this because it just saves time. Yeah. Forget to tell you guys that we're gonna be putting olive oil in the in the macaroni, just a dash of it. Uh, a little bit I should say. That's just gonna help with um the macaroni not sticking. Then we're going to put half a packet of macaroni and then I usually like using a wooden spoon because I don't like using um, other spoons because it tends to like scrape the bottom of the pot and that can get stuff into your food. So. so the macaroni would have to cook for about 10 10 to 12 minutes because obviously we're going to bake the mac macaroni again so we don't want to overcook the macaroni on the hob so the, the macaroni is currently pouring away nicely on the back burner and now we're going to make the cheese sauce for it so i'm going to use one tablespoon of butter okay that just did not go right so <laughs> let me use a spoon to get the butter off we don't want the butter to burn. We're gonna turn the cooker right down on oh right down on um, the lowest heat. And then I'm gonna use one tablespoon of flour. Now oh, I'm using the flour, I'm gonna make a roux. Making noise with the bloody pot in the thing. So now I'm going to slowly add the wet ingredients and then keep whisking so you don't have a very um sorry, keep whisking so you don't have a lumpy sauce. To have to let the, the butter and the flour cook down as well. Um, it's very important to let the the flour cook as well, so you don't have this floury taste when you're cooking. It's very thick. Bearing in mind, my sauce is yellow because there's mustard in my sauce. So I'm going to add the onions that we grated earlier. Italian seasoning. Garlic granules. Do a teaspoon of everything if you don't want to over season it. I usually when I cook I do like I just eyeball it 
but if you're making a recipe I would I would suggest that you do a teaspoon of all the seasonings. I would add a bit of salt not too much just a pinch because you don't want it to be too salty because you have to put cheese and all of that in it as well and then I would add crushed chilies not too much as well because you don't want a spicy mac and cheese and I would add the tomato powder from this side and then now I'll taste it just to make sure it tastes okay mm, it's lovely nicely seasoned now I'm gonna add the Leicester cheese Red Leicester cheese, sorry. So add that, add all of it. Ooh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Melting and nice. And you can start, you can turn your cooker up as well. So you can get the cheese melted. Now I'm going to add the mature cheddar. I like putting cheese on top of my mac and cheese, so I'm going to leave this to put on top of it. And I'm going to directly, I'm going to grate, sorry, the mozzarella directly into the pot because the mozza mozzarella comes in this water and I like, for me, I like to open it when I know I'm going to use it. That's why I didn't grate it. I didn't pre, I didn't do it before, I would say. So, mozzarella, gonna open it. Ooh. And I'm gonna grate it directly into the pot. It's so soft. It's a very, very soft cheese for those of you who've never had mozzarella before. It's quite good. Alright, that's it. And now I'm going to mix it. It is burning, so you just turn it on a bit. So I can smell it. And it's very, very cheesy. Look at that, guys. So I'm gonna use the macaroni now and I'm gonna put it in a in a bowl and then I'm gonna mix everything in together. Put the pie in. Oh, look at that, guys. Maybe. Okay, the grated cheese that we had earlier, the remainder over the pie. Ooh, that was a mess. I think I might need some more though because I like a lot of cheese on top of my pie. I will grate cheese directly over the pie. If you need more, just use it. And just do what is best for you. So I'm going to use the red Leicester. Just put a little bit more on top of it, the remaining that I had. Use some of the cheddar as well, so we can get into the corners. So now the pie is in the dish. We cover it with foil. 
that is done and we're going to put it in the center of the oven on 180 degrees if you have an electric oven also the reason why we covered it before is so it can bake and then maybe 10 minutes before it's finished cooking we can take it off so the cheese can melt and get burned golden brown so I'm just going to make the sauce. I'm going to use one bottle of sweet chili sauce, the entire bottle. That's usually you put one bottle in. <laughs> I know that. And I'm going to use some when you barbecue. Just put that in. All of this you should probably use with this, um, maybe two tablespoons. And I decided to add some classic barbecue. So just for a more smokier taste, just to cut the sweetness. So I'm gonna use another two tablespoons of this and then I'm just gonna mix that in. And then I'll lay it out. Um, I tend to like to put foil in the Pyrex dish easier clean up um, yeah pretty much that's one of the reasons why Let's put the chicken it's been seasoned it's been sitting there for a bit it is a small dish so I'm gonna try to get as much in as possible And then I'll just baste the chicken with the sauce. In the middle of cooking, I will turn the chicken. So just baste it with a spoon. You can use a, um, a brush, like a cooking brush. Usually people use it to like baste like pastries and for barbecue sauce and stuff like that. So I'll turn. I use my spoon to turn it, you can use the same tongs, probably I'll get the tongs. <laughs> Let me just use the tongs to turn it, it'll be a lot easier. And then I'll baste the bottom of the chicken. I mean, we're trying to make things very simple for, for people as well. Like not too difficult, not too much prep, not too much headache, this is quite simple, quite easy to do and be sure to when you're um, seasoning your chicken I forgot to mention to wash your chicken and dry it so I leave back a little bit not too much so then in the process of cooking it once it's cooked and then I'm turning it I'll put a little bit more and then cook it again all right so I'm gonna put it in the oven at 180 degrees okay so this is the mac and cheese. So what we did, we covered it. Now that is cooked, we're gonna leave it in there for 10 minutes. We take the foil off, leave it in there for 10 minutes to get nice and golden brown on top. The chicken in as well. Put that in there. That's gonna bake for half an hour. On 180? On 180, yep. Yeah. And this is the finished dish. Chicken. Which one <laughs> what are you gonna pick? Dun dun
Very early. Oh, cool. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> what if I 